looks good. Like, I'm looking at me right now and I'm like, hey, hey. Don't big your skin, big vanish. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. It is my fake story here, and today I want to talk to you guys about my experience on the caveman regimen or the modified caveman regimen. Really, it has helped me in a lot of ways, not just physically my face, but mentally as well and emotionally. Let's get into it. What is the caveman regimen? The caveman regimen is a skincare technique or method where you don't do anything to your face at all. No washing, no creams, no moisturizers, no toners. The purpose of this regimen is to find out if a product is irritating your skin or if a product is making you break out or if maybe you don't even need to do these things to your face because there's some people, for example, <laughs> my husband, who don't wash their face, don't follow any dietary restrictions, don't do anything like that, and their skin is completely clear and flawless and spotless. And you guys probably all know at least one person like that. Or you ask someone for their skincare routine and they're like, I don't do anything. So I thought, you know what? I've tried so many things. I might as well try nothing. So that is what I did. And also ignore this wall back here. We are redoing <laughs> this area, finally. And yeah, let's get into it. First, I'm gonna mask with the Banished Pumpkin Enzyme Mask while I'm doing this, just because I love it. And I'm gonna use a little brush. I'm just gonna do a little spot treatment. The thing that I found hardest with the Caveman Regimen is not putting anything on your pimples when you get them. If I get little whiteheads, I've kind of just been letting them go. But if they're like bigger cysts under the skin, not going away, then I'm definitely doing something to them. This was a spot that I just got really impatient with and I should have not picked, not touched, just let it go. But I just couldn't keep my hands off and I really just made it 20 million times more inflamed. So, uh, 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 uh. and I'm just gonna leave that on <laughs> because I want this spot to go away. It's been there for like a week. Let's talk about caveman regimen. It's been really hard for me because I, I'm used to like testing out a bunch of different products. I'm used to putting products on my face. I'm a product junkie. I got it from my mama because she's a product junkie. No shame. I love it. It's just something I like. Like I, I like trying out new products. I like putting things on my face. It's like a little pamper, like a little me time. But I was getting so frustrated lately. It's been like since January that my skin has been freaking out. I got so frustrated. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try nothing. And it's not about just trying nothing, the caveman regimen. It's not about putting nothing on your face. It's also about mentally not obsessing about it, not touching your skin. You don't let anything touch your skin, not your hands, not water, nothing. Not looking at yourself in the mirror every 12 seconds. Yes, that pimple is still there. That was there this morning. It's really just about letting things go, like not obsessing about your diet, not obsessing about every single thing that could be an acne cause, AKA everything. And that I feel like is what has really helped me the most, just not stressing because if you've ever Googled what causes acne, it's literally everything. Or does X cause acne? Does sugar cause acne? Does gluten? Does stress? Yes, the answer is going to most likely be yes, it does cause acne, which if you end up thinking everything causes acne, then you're just, you're not gonna be happy. You know what I mean? You're not gonna wanna do anything because you're gonna think everything's breaking you out. And I feel like that was to the point I was getting to. And I just kind of wanted to put everything like at my mind, which is a big, big reason why I wanted to try it. Let's talk about my skin. When I first started Caveman Regimen, I had one, two, three, four. I had like four cysts right here. And then I also had three cysts right here and I still have the hyperpigmentation from it. But since I've been doing this caveman regimen, yes, I've like broken out, but they're super small and they go away really, really fast. Like they're white heads and they go away super fast. I did get one cyst, which is right here. And it was like huge pounding inflamed. I got that like on the 28th day of doing this. I'm still personally gonna keep doing it. I think my skin texture, tone, clarity, I think it all looks really even and it looks really good and even the spots i have don't bother me as much and i almost wonder if it's because i'm not trying a million things i'm not frustrated because something's not working you know what i mean i'm doing nothing so i almost kind of expect it i don't know it feels good i feel like it looks good like i'm looking at me right now and i'm like hey hey 
<laughs> but so for my modified version, because I do like wearing makeup occasionally, especially when I go out with friends on the weekends, I work from home and I'm not really like someone to wear makeup to class, like to school, I don't really care, especially since I have art class and I'm usually like getting messy anyways. So the only time I'm like really wearing makeup is on the weekends and obviously I can't leave that on though there are people there are people who said that they left it on their face and that it was fine I personally can't do that so I would just wash it off with an oil cleanser and then I would use the banished vitamin C cream after and I did that during this like process about two times so it's not like I'm doing it every single night or anything like that. And I think why the caveman regimen has been so effective for me personally is because my skin barrier was super damaged. I was trying out so many chemical exfoliators, putting tons of junk on my face. I was probably over exfoliating, exfoliating like three, four times a week, sometimes maybe even more. And I think I just like stripped away my acid mantle and my skin's barrier. And when that happens to you and your skin becomes like so sensitive and overreactive to products, it doesn't matter what you do or what you put on it. It doesn't matter if it's Neutrogena or if it's Banish because your skin barrier is compromised. Literally everything is going to make your skin react and nothing's going to work on it. And that was the point that I was getting to. So yeah, I mean, it's been really good. And I am gonna go back to trying out products because I love products, but I think I'm going to be a lot more mindful I'm not going to be trying products like what I was doing was trying a new exfoliator every week or trying a new serum every week or a new acne treatment every week. And if you're really doing that, you're not going to be able to tell specifically exactly what's breaking you out. You have to use a skincare routine for at least 28 days because that is like how much it takes or how long it takes a skin cell cycle to renew on your face. So I would say at least two months. Do it for two months and if your skin does not look better than when you started or even three months because I feel like after that first month like that is just that's just like the beginning stage that's still stuff left over from your like last skincare routine and still stuff like that hasn't gotten out of your skin so I would do it for at least two months but yeah caveman regimen it's been good for me so far I honestly couldn't find a lot of information about it online which is why I'm making this video in case anyone else ends up wanting to try it. I saw like two or three like kind of reputable people talking about it with a lot of views. But besides that, there wasn't really that much information. So let me share a little bit. During the first week of the caveman regimen, my face was really dry, really scaly, which is weird because I always thought that I had oily skin and I was like, what the heck is going on? I was getting like all these dry patches, kind of like eczema patches. By the second week, I literally had full-blown eczema. I don't know if you see how it's kind of red, like right here and right here. And then all this was like dry and scaly and patchy. And I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna rinse it off because it got so itchy. I wasn't really breaking out. Like I would get a tiny whitehead during the day, but it would literally go away by the end of the night. It was so weird. So I was like, maybe this was a good sign. Maybe it's a sign my skin was healing. I would wake up with like random, just like red patches. And the next day or the day after that, it would be gone. I just tried like not to worry about it so much and not to obsess about it and to just realize like, that it's my skin healing itself and that it's gonna take time from all the years I have been using and abusing it. After the second week, that is when I started wearing makeup and like kind of washing my face again, but just oil cleansing. I'm doing that now like once a week when I go out and wear makeup and using the vitamin C cream. So after that, I mean, it's kind of been just like, my skin was like normal for a week. And then I think on day 22, I was like, I have to take this dead skin off. Like I had so much built up. It was so gross and I had like layers and layers and I had to sit in the shower with my fingers and massage it off for probably like 15 minutes. It was a lot of dead skin. Nobody wants to see that much dead skin. And since then, it's been good. I would say like a couple of days after that is when I got this. So I'm like, maybe I washed it off too soon. Maybe my skin wasn't done healing itself. But besides that, I haven't gotten like a ton of cyst or anything like that where I was getting like one a week or two a week and they were big and they hurt. And then after one went down, another one popped up and it was just like, mind numbing, you know, for me. All in all, my experience on the caveman regimen or modified caveman regimen, whatever you wanna call it, has been really, really good. I'm not really using like 
<laughs> I mean, I'll use like a spot treatment, but I'm not using like salicylic acid or like any facial cleansers. Oil cleansing is great if you have a compromised skin barrier because it doesn't have a pH in it. Your skin's pH is supposed to be like slightly acidic. And if you're using something to raise it or lower it too much, that is what can make you break out. So if you do decide to do a modified one, oil cleanser is a great way to go because it won't mess with the pH of your skin and your skin will still be able to heal. Um, or anything that says that it's a you know balanced pH would be great too. I thought that my face was gonna explode. I thought there's no way, but really it's either, I would say it's gotten better. It's definitely gotten better. I was gonna say stayed the same or gotten better, but it's gotten better. So yeah, I'm excited to start like derma rolling again, start using my products again and just dive back into it. So here's like a close up. I just really feel it does look a lot more even. At least do it for two to three months. Um, just because you want to give your skin time to adjust and to get used to it. I am like feeling pretty positive about this and pretty happy. I think what I'm finding out about my skin is that it's not really necessarily the products, like all the products I've been trying. I think that it's the exfoliators. I think my skin is really sensitive to exfoliation because you know, when you're not touching it, you're taking away that physical irritation part that is a part of acne or cystic acne. Physical irritation to the pore is like one of the steps that causes a pimple. So I think maybe my skin is just really sensitive to like physical irritants. So I think that's what I'm finding out. I also found out I touch my face way more than I thought because you're not supposed to touch your face at all subconsciously. I'm like feeling it to see if it's still there. So it's been a great learning process for me to not touch my face and, and then mentally, obviously. Yeah, mentally it's been great because I just have like not been worrying about it. I'm like, eh, it'll go away. It'll be fine. It's just a pimple. Whereas before I'd like let it ruin my day and be like, oh my God, <laughs> my life is over. But now I'm just like feeling lax about it. And that feels a lot better, I think. And that's how it should be. So starting to feel good, feel great. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions about the caveman regimen, make sure you comment down below. I think that the reason this worked so good for me is because I went from like a year ago, I used like over the counter washes and then I transitioned into natural skincare. And then I went from natural skincare to minimal and then from minimal to nothing. So I think that's why it worked so well for me because I didn't go straight from three pumps of benzoyl peroxide a day to nothing. I think with that, you'll probably experience a purging period or something. Yeah, my tips if you are wanting to try this are to like maybe wean into it and don't expect too much or don't expect anything really your body needs time to heal your body needs time to fix itself and sometimes we just need to get out of the way so that it can do that sometimes we're hindering the process by just like putting a bunch of crud on our face so just my opinion it's worked pretty well for me and i mean you guys can research more about it online caveman regimen or people doing water only regimen i will continue doing this i will give you guys a two month update if you want, just doing the modified version. I'm not gonna lie, I have started treating spots again just because the cystic spots last for a really long time. Like they last, mine will last for like a month and then the mark will last for another month. So I feel like with cystic spots, I wouldn't just like let it go. Whiteheads and blackheads, sure, why not? But like a cystic under the skin or a pustule or a nodule, girl, you gotta treat that because <laughs> that can leave a scar, you know, if you just let it go, which is why I'm like still using Vanish. I think that is it. And hopefully this helped. Again, any questions on the caveman regimen, leave them down below and we will answer them. All right, bye guys. Thanks for watching. There's a hope that's waiting for you.